going to show you guys a, a way I like to submit from here because I feel like the pass is pretty simple. Keep his shoulders down, cut your knee through. Um, typically what people will do if you can't pass is they'll lock their leg around your, your leg like that. Okay, and they'll kind of trap you here. Okay, so what I do with these two grips is I keep his shoulders flat and I put my knee right in the middle. So I'm going to work with this leg and I'm going to bring it in and pick my hips up and put my knee right in the middle. I'm gonna try to be like for you, like that, okay? So I'm right in the middle, his shoulders are flat, and this is gonna give me access to a really deep collar grip, okay? If I keep him on his side, I can't access that collar grip. It's too around the corner. But as soon as I start working with this leg and working with my arms and putting myself center on him, I can get a really nice collar grip. And where I want my hand is right as it starts to bend my wrist around the corner of his neck, okay? So I'm putting my hand in the collar, and as soon as this part of my wrist starts to bend around the corner of his neck, that's where, that's the perfect spot. So right there. I just feel the bend started to, to begin, and now I put my knee back on the floor, and I keep my elbow closed, let's rotate this way, like this, and I pull him to me, okay? I don't want him on his back anymore. I want access to the top side of his neck, okay? Now, I'm gonna reach, grab the, the material that hangs out on the top of the shoulders, like that extra kind of like, just extra material that's right here. I grab that, I don't need the collar or anything, and I'm gonna pull him to me. I'm gonna press my forearm between his cheek and his jaw, and I'm gonna open the space between his, uh, his uh, jawbone and his collarbone. So he's tucking his chin, I'm squeezing, opening, and then I drop my forearm in. <laughs> And all I'm doing is rowing my left arm up and then putting all of my body weight in my top arm. I don't need to choke with my top arm, I just need to lay across this. And that's gonna give me that nice like constriction I want on both carotids right here, okay? So I pull him off of his side, compress his cheekbone and jawbone, open, drop inside, and now I'm rowing my right arm and laying my weight on my left arm, like that. So I'm doing this and I'm compressing with my chest and everything on this. I'm basically like doing that on the top side, okay? If you do it this way, rather than like trying to wring their neck, you just kind of row this one with your lat and lay on the top, you can apply this choke for a very long time, okay? And your hands don't burn out. So if the choke doesn't work, you're not gonna like get out of the position and be like, ah, like you can't do anything, you know? <laughs> okay, so we're here. Okay, let's do it from the, from the pull, pull, yeah, right here. So he pulls with his leg really high, and I end up here, I, di I didn't get through. Open yourself to the side, just push his foot below your shin, you don't need to step over it, and then turn back and look for the sleeve. And now I can pass here, or if he locks on my leg, see how sometimes he'll lock on your ankle like that? I keep this sleeve, because I don't want him to start underhooking my leg or anything like that. And I want to use this to start lifting his shoulder and pushing his other shoulder down. Let's rotate. Work with this foot here and your arms to get yourself back in the middle. Watch this. Hand in the collar until it starts to bend that corner. And then I drop my knee back inside like that. And now I keep him off of his back. I pull him to me to get the material on his shoulder. Squeeze and open that space, and then drop my forearm inside. And now I'm rowing with my bottom arm and compressing with my top. Just like that, okay? When you guys practice this choke, see if you can get your partner to tap with as little effort as possible, okay? As little effort as possible. And then when you actually put some cheese on it, you'll pop their head like a zip, okay? <laughs> you guys have any questions? Yes. Uh, do you ever go for the inside collar grip on um, the other side as well, instead of the that material? No, I, I usually don't. Um, I typically have pretty bad luck with this material. I, I like the top grip. I used to work with this one, uh, but I feel like, like when you go for the top grip, you're doing like a double kind of choke, and you're applying pressure with your hand, which is fine. Um, but I, I find it easier to apply a lot of pressure just with the, my forearm. It's just a very simple structure. I just lay my weight on it. Like I'm not even grabbing on his neck. I'm grabbing behind here just so I can do this. I'm, I'm just doing this on the top. All the choke comes from the bottom arm. Like 
rowing like this. So I'm like pulling that between his chest and my chest and maintaining that. And then I'm laying on the top carotid, okay? That's how I like it. Most of the time I'm not doing this from the top, I'm doing it from the bottom. So it's oh, a little different. On bottom, much better to use the, the other grip, I think. Much better, because you're kind of pulling them into you yeah. too. Yeah, okay? So I want you guys to, to practice the guard pull still. Um, you can start from your seated, but partner on bottom, keep your legs up like this. So you can start here, he pulls me up, this leg is going to go up, and he's going to kind of be in this position, you guys see? Here. And then from here, face out, push the leg down below your shin, and then come back in, bam. And now you're in the same position here. You see how I'm trying to turn in really, really hard? This is what somebody who's good at this position is going to do. And they might even try to reach and control your sleeve bump you forward with their knee behind your back, see? So you gotta work fast and get them out of this spot. So as soon as you get here, start working your knee in the middle, don't wait, bam. And now it's hard for them to rock you forward because your weight's on top of them rather than beside them, okay? It's important you keep your sequence going and you don't wait for them to get that control we were talking about in the beginning. You gotta keep them out of that, okay? Any questions? Let's try this, one, two, three. This is the last one, guys, and then we're gonna this, I have my hand inside, I grab the top grip, I'm pulling him in, I'm starting to apply the choke. If he uses his elbow to support your choking hand, you're not gonna be able to close it. So I just bring my support leg in close, collapse the frame, and then apply the choke in that moment. So I'm like, kinda like this for a second, like on both knees, but pinning one of his arms like this. And then you can stay in this exact position, open, and apply that choke, okay? What if they use the top of if they use the top hand, so if I'm here and they use the top hand, I abandon this and I go over his tricep and I'm gonna choke him like with a head and arm. Okay, so I'm gonna bring his arm over and then I'm gonna fold my bicep over his arm like this and then instead of leaning this way, I'm leaning this way and allowing my bicep to push his delt into his neck like this. Here, okay? So on the bottom arm, you're doing the bottom arm and he's framing. Bring your leg in, collapse, and then apply the choke. For the top arm, you're just gonna release and go over the tricep and pull it in front of your arm. So right in front of your bicep. And then you're gonna do the same style of choke right here, okay? A lot of times I'll do this, and then I'll even start sneaking my hand back in and start applying this choke too. You know, if this one isn't working, I'll go back over the top after I throw this frame, okay? Any questions, guys? Okay, let's practice it a little bit more, uh, and then we're gonna spark. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah.